Hey everyone, welcome back to new video. So uh, after uh, much a lot of uh, long time coming back, so so in this video we will be discussing about a uh, about a backlog. So there have been a four of and a best uh, strategy or ways uh, which you can uh, clear your F grade to E, uh, D. Uh, then C, B, A, and uh, S. Finally, so there have been a lot of fine options, and these are much of an tried and easy of a way. Uh, so let's look out in this video. So number one way uh, through that is a pre-evaluation. So once your examinations have been done and everything has been done, your finally a uh, marks have been released by your faculty. So once your marks have been released, uh, there has been a time period in a certain time period. So uh, you will be uh, getting a mail from a uh, control of examinations uh, from your college that. Uh, uh, your marks have been released and if you wanted to uh, give your paper for re-evaluation if you feel that your marks have been a little bit less or less as you might be uh, there might be a certain cutoff for uh, like uh, each and every subject that you might be able to know and uh, i also made a prior video so you can check it out on item it's available there so once you will be able to uh, know that your cut uh, cut off for the specific subject is uh, this much so according to that uh, you know, you'll be able to calculate your marks if for one or two marks have been less you can just uh, apply for your evaluation and uh, like you can just uh, had, uh, talk with your faculty or of your that subject that uh, sir i have been uh, like uh, this one this uh, kind of a issue regarding marks and just uh, if your faculties are like a uh, calm and relaxed and like uh, much uh, helpful then uh, he might be able to just uh, by applying in revolution he might just uh, give a one or two mark or half mark like your first students in just a half mark to pass so they might be able to get in rest like uh, other non uh, like uh, other components of it are also there for uh, like uh, for one uh, specific subject uh, lab component assignment everything so finally like once you will be passing uh, like a theory subject then you would be easily able to like uh, as the other thing you might have already done so like your grade might be also uh, much of a boosted from f to like uh, you can easily get a b or c or a or s like s is like little bit uh, difficult but uh, b or c you can easily get so this was in first way and uh, but for one thing that are just for a one uh, revolution you need to pay a certain uh, fee amount that uh, would be decided by your college so that's the one thing you need to bear for it so but for uh, just to get a pass you can do anything so you would be easily able to weigh. and yeah and if you're uh, feeling interesting or uh, if you have any further please make sure that you comment below so all your doubts have been clear and later you won't regret it now the second way uh, through there is a re-registration of a code so once uh, like uh, in uh, each and every semester like we had uh, like i'm in VAT, so like we had ffcs so you had a complete option of uh, re-registering your subject or whatever you wanted to do when you wanted to make everything a uh, flexibility everything if you wanted to watch about uh, that thing also i have made a video please check it out link is given in uh, here also and in description also so both you would be able to get to know uh so we had options so like we can just uh, re-register uh, if uh, we had uh, like a uh, uh, such as i had a backlog in uh, xyz course in uh, like a fourth semester then just i can uh, re-register same xyz course in a uh, fifth semester also but uh, that, that course would be coming under the re-registration and for this course like you need to do everything of us uh, from a starting like all the faculties would be new faculty or same faculty you might get if you are too much lucky then and uh, you need to give a re -ex uh, examination for each and every semester like uh, with uh, other batchmates and everything you also need to do same uh, uh, courses and uh, assignments and projects and everything from a beginning to the end and uh, for this one thing uh, it's then like a uh, whatever the like a uh, prior uh, grade would be there it will be just uh removed up and uh, new like what you do in uh, this uh, while uh, re registration of a specific course uh, according to that new marks and a new grade would be assigning in your portal also so this is a re register and this re registration like you can do in a like a one of a regular sem or there will be a special semester in uh, vit also like there is a weekend semester then summer semester and a winter semester so these are main three options like um, when there is a break for uh, like a normal student just uh, you can re-register in a specific uh, subject my advice would be that if you had a backlog in a specific subject and if you are having much of time if you had a summer semester or a winter break semester or intra semester just uh, apply in that uh, uh one month or short duration of a time in that semester and just uh, clear your background rather than uh, just like a uh, for a, like a completely for a, like a one uh, big semester that is around four to five months for just over one uh, backlog course i don't think so it's so much of an worth it and like just a, like a time waste and everything so you can just you can complete you know one uh, one month only through winter semester winter break semester or intra semester or summer semester you had a complete option decide on you so just plan according to it and uh, clear your backlogs as fast as possible and 
and one more thing i just wanted to add is that uh, for these also like if you are re-registering a specific courses then uh, you need to pay uh, again now uh, uh, fix an amount for one specific uh, subject so think accordingly and do it and uh, calculate all your expenses and one more like a question like many for students used to ask me that is uh, regarding that uh, if we do a re-registration of a course and like in our like final grade sheet or uh, like a course sheet uh, like it would be written or uh, not uh, it won't be written any or any way like uh, you had done a re-registration uh, re of course or not the simple uh, like a uh, course code a uh, subject and what is your grade and when you have been taken it just it will be displayed according to that uh, nothing like a uh, more than registration or you had been a uh, had a backlog or anything so it's a one of and pretty way now coming to the third now uh third way uh which is a much of and pretty of awesome that is that uh, you can just uh, sub uh, substitute your course so if your course doesn't lie in your core subject then you can just uh, substitute this course how you can do just to go to your dean academics and say that i wanted to substitute this course with uh, this elective subject and this all uh, courses should be an elective not in a core subject for core subject there has been no option to substitute you have to do a compulsory but if uh, this course is an elective you can just uh, uh, take a one of n course and uh, substitute with the other course within the same credit system also and as you might be knowing that uh, for each and every subject uh, there have been different uh, credits or so two three four if you are doing a uh, for two credit and uh, you need to substitute with the two credits only if you're doing of three then you need to substitute with three and similar for the four so you can just uh, substitute this course and for core it has been no option you had to do i had to uh, do backlog and uh, this also like substitution of course you can just uh, do within a regular semester so if you got a uh, so, uh, just seeing with the example such as uh, if you got an uh, like a uh, abc course uh, i had and i got a backlog in third semester so what i can do is just uh, going in a fourth semester i can just uh, uh, uh tell to my dean academics uh, who will be handling or uh, about your subject you can just uh, go and meet him and say that uh, sir i uh, this uh, did a a b c subject in a third sir but uh, i just wanted to substitute the, this course because as i got a backup so i will be taking as a uh, def course uh, one uh, which is also for three credits and similar to it so it's an elective so i just wanted to substitute with uh, this code so it will be substituted and here also similar uh, nothing would be written in your credit sheet and box it that you have done at this everything so it's a one of a pretty way just you can do for elective subject now moving further with a fourth option that is a through areas exam so what does area examination means like if you had got too many of a backlog or like if you had a backlog and you wanted to just complete and you like it doesn't mean with any of our grades or anything just you wanted to pass with pass with the subject then there has been area examination facility by like uh, for our students that is uh, you just need to give your examination it has a certain like a time limit or a certain like a uh, what you call like a weightage of a mark uh, just you need to give uh, you will be passed and once you are passed like you will be getting a like a uh, uh, in that like maximum grade you can get is a b or c i just need to verify just you can just verify with the, your dean or something and uh, declared uh, clarified so here also like you can get a b or c or d or e or e grade so this one maximum s and a you can't get in this area examination so this is also like a simple way if you wanted to get uh, clear within your subjects you can just uh, register for this course and uh, just clear uh, clear it so this was a uh, pretty good uh, four or five ways uh, through which you can clear your backlog and if you had any of a question please uh, comment down i will be clarifying all your doubts and uh, and thank you everyone for uh, helping me to reach uh, 10k soon uh, next year we will be reaching uh, 100k so this is our goal we will be achieving it please make sure that you subscribe and like the video and watch out our upcoming videos and uh, if you want to add any of our doubts you can just uh, check out previous videos see you in the upcoming video <music>